Hello and welcome to Railways Explained. No, not that one. I use the name first. Today we're going to Israel, or rather, in January 2020, I went to Israel. The first railway line, between what was then Jaffa and the holy city of Jerusalem, opened in 1892 under the Ottoman Empire. Over the following decades, the rail network of what became British Palestine grew, and by the end of the Second World War, the network was connected to neighbouring Egypt, Lebanon and Syria via the Hejaz Railway. Following the War of Independence, Israel re-established its rail network, including the Jaffa-Jerusalem Railway. However, by the 1990s, the line was in poor condition with ridership low, and in 1998 the line was closed. Various plans were considered by the Israeli government on how to re-establish a rail link to Jerusalem. In the end, they decided to reopen the historic line with some refurbishment in the short term and build a new, faster line in the long term. The Jaffa-Jerusalem Railway reopened in 2005. Most of the route is the original alignment from 1892, bar the two original termini in Jaffa and Jerusalem. The original Jaffa station has been closed since 1948, but has been preserved. So this is the old station in Jaffa, which is now open to the public. There are some shops and restaurants in the various buildings, and there are some little railway oddities still lying around that you can go and visit. There's this carriage on display at the front, so you can actually go on board. wonder what's inside. Not much. Jerusalem Khan Station served as the eastern terminus until the line closed in 1998. When the line reopened, it terminated at a newly built station in Malha on the outskirts of Jerusalem. The original track bed between Malha and Khan is now a wonderful cycle path known as Train Track Park. A similar park on the original alignment to the old station in Jaffa opened in late 2020. One of the things that slowed me down on my way here was this massive blockage. Just this is where those sidings end, and the path doesn't start until after that massive motorway bridge, and you have to go on a very lengthy diversion. I assume it usually starts here, but this work, whatever it is, is temporarily blocking the route.
Hang on a minute. Reading station? Oh, oh, it's reading. Ah, it's a library. Now that I'm in slightly less of a rush, I can have a bit more of a proper look at Jerusalem Khan Station. The building now seems to be a restaurant. And it's still very recognisable. The new Tel Aviv to Jerusalem line, sometimes inaccurately referred to as high speed, opened in 2018. Running on a newer, straighter alignment over viaducts and tunnels instead of winding valleys, the line has cut journey times between Tel Aviv and Jerusalem to just over half an hour, compared to the previous journey time of 75 minutes. The line currently terminates in an underground station in the northwest of Jerusalem known as Yitzhak Navon, though it could be extended in the future.